Why hello, good chap. I'm here to tell you a story. The story about a king. The Gypsy King! And as our story continues, after the birth of our Gypsy King, Tyson Bartholomew McFoley Fury, as a young boy, he lived with his traveling family of gypsies as they traveled around the area of Manchester, England. Where the king was reared, the king to be. Through his young boyhood years, he, he got into scuffles at school. Boys will be boys, his mother said. And then one day, the gypsy king to be was a man he met his lovely lovely wife you so fucking precious when you smile yeah. he did from the back and drive you wild yeah. girl I lose myself for in those and although things just seemed to be going the gypsy king's way now that he found his gypsy queen there were troubles in paradise things were not exactly perfect for the gypsy king to be for in the path of the Gypsy King, there was great controversy afoot. Why is love gay? People did not like his outlook on the gay. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? Are you a homophobe? Could you self-identify as a homophobe? As a what? As a, as a homophobe. Can you explain to me what, what one of them is, Paul? Well, because I'm not very educated. Yeah, all right. Imagine. Well, he's used you of homophobia, so that would yeah. mean some... I've, I've yeah. read that quite a lot in the papers, actually. Yeah, and that would mean that somebody, I guess, who, who, who doesn't like gay people. Well, I've got quite a few gay friends, actually. And, um, and if somebody didn't like gay people, then you wouldn't have any gay friends, would you? Where, where's all this come from? Well, I think it stems from the fact that I quoted some quotes out of the Bible um, that I didn't write, clearly, because I didn't write the Bible. So I think that's where it's come from. Look in your eyes and be so sincere. You, say, I love you. you don't like it, change the station. You don't like it, don't take photos. You don't like it, don't print it in your newspaper. Do I care? Not really. If you have to hear a yes man, then I ain't that person. But if you have to a real person who wants to educate people on what the world really is, then I'm that person for sure. And because the Gypsy King felt he had something to prove, he cheated on his queen with a man. Why is love gay? Tyson was such a nice young fella. I never thought he'd actually kiss a man. What up, everyone on the YTBC? Big shout out to the UGC. Hashtag come back to boxing in the MBBC. When you get a chance, 
please go to the description box of this video. I put the links on my brothers there. Please give them a listen if you feel compelled to do so. Please subscribe. Now today, I want to talk about Tyson Fury with the quote-unquote loaded gloves. Now, I remember back when Andy Ruiz beat Anthony Joshua, I had to defend him on a couple different things. Which is funny because I'm an Anthony Joshua fan. <laughs> but um, I have a feeling that this week, Tyson Fury week, I'm going to have to do kind of the same thing, defend him on certain things because sometimes people just can't accept the fact that their man lost. And the reality is this, okay? His gloves being loaded is pure and utter speculation that's not even justified speculation okay for this fight and this goes for both sides okay because um shout out to charles d he pointed out that andy lee was present for the hand wrapping of of uh deontay wilder and that's because for this fight, there was to be a team member from the opposite team to witness the hand wraps, inspect the gloves, and all that stuff. Okay, so that means there was a member of Wilder's team in Tyson Fury's room when his hands were being wrapped to witness that there was no funny business going on to inspect the gloves along with a member from the Nevada State Athletic Commission and someone from VADA all to witness the hand wrappings, the gloves and everything you look at a picture or a video of any boxing match and you will see where that tape meet you know where the, where the glove meets the skin on the boxer there is a piece of tape they tape up but, um, right there is to, to make sure that nothing could be slipped into that glove after the fact. And then on that tape, there are signatures from the, from the State Athletic Commission, in this case, which, which would be Nevada, stating that everything is A-OK. -okay. That's why the tape always has to be cut off at the end of every fight. If you notice, they never sl just slip the gloves off. They have to cut that tape. And that's why is they, they tape it up really tight to make sure that, you know, after everything is said and done, somebody can't slip something in those gloves. The whole thing about the gloves is just bullshit. Let, let's just say what it is. It's bullshit. Tyson Fury won that fight fair and square. I don't want to see his victory diminished just on account that some people just can't accept the fact that the guy lost. But big round of applause for the Gypsy King for beating Deontay Wilder the right way. To all my subscribers, anybody watching my videos, or if you just so happen to stump on this video, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace. That's why I'm undefeated.